Welcome everybody to the seventh cycle of uh, the Rubismo Cafe Talk, uh, which is focus focusing on policy recommendation for rural areas dynamics. Uh, so this is this will be one part of the this is part of the Rubismo project. A really brief introduction. Uh, Rubismo is all about uh, business models for rural areas, and we are looking at different sectors. So in this uh, cycle, we already had a presentation uh, last week from Mulliken on guidelines for supportive business environment. And today we are delighted to have uh, Elodie Sal from the Sherpa project that will uh, show us, uh, share with us the, the first conclusions uh, they have from the project. Uh, because you will, I think, tell us a bit more about the project, but I think it's still uh, in the first year or first, yeah, of the project. So We'll have a few more years to go. Uh, next week, we'll have a presentation from Jenny uh, from Sweden. And she will tell us on how support schemes are perceived and encouraging the, the businesses. Uh, and then we will uh, finish this cycle with a long uh, virtual study visit. We'll go to Spain and to Ireland, uh, and that will be the the last session and then uh, the Rubismo Cafe talk will take a, a summer break. So I think with no more uh, words, I give the floor to Elodie Sal, project manager for the Sherpa project. Thank you, Tristan. Um, I'll now just um, make a second to share my screen. Share the presentation, pre presentation mode. Hope you can see it well. Perfect. Good. Um, well, good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Elodie Sal. I'm working at ECRES, um, Brussels-based consultancy, and uh, we are coordinating the, um, the Sherpa project with my, my colleague Olivier Chartier. Um, thanks, first of all, to Justin and Camille for the invitation. Um, so I'll, I'll present um, just briefly um, the, the work that we've done uh, regarding the, the long-term vision for rural areas. Um, but perhaps briefly uh, before, I would like just to give you a um, short presentation on the project if you don't know uh, Sherpa. So um, Sherpa stands for Sustainable Hub to Engage into Rural Policies with Actors. So we started the project in October 2019. Uh, it's a four-year project, so we are quite at the, at the beginning, but we've been uh, doing many things uh, since we started. So we have 17 partners and um, it's a coordination and support action. Um, so the main objective of the project is to um, contribute to formulate recommendations for future policy policies relevant to uh, EU rural areas. And um, how do we do that? So um, the tool is mainly the um, science society policy interface. So uh, we create maps, so multi-actors platform um, across the, the EU. Um, also two in the, in the UK, and um, we, we basically um, discuss certain topics uh, within the, the maps. So, um, and this, the three uh, groups, so science, society, and policy are always represented in, the, in these um, platforms. Uh, we have four uh, guiding principles, so flexible programming, impartiality and transparency, diversity of EU rural territories, and multi-level interactions, as well as co-construction. So how do we work in practice when talking about the maps? Um, so we, um, we first identify a specific topic. Um, it can be, uh, we had, for instance, a pilot on bi biodiversity and future uh, landscape, um, but uh, also we worked on the long-term vision, as I, as I mentioned before, and I will go get back to this uh, in more details, but we have a Sherpa discussion paper which is uh, centrally um, developed and drafted by, by partners and work package leaders. Then we send this paper to all the, the multi-actors platforms. So we have at the moment 20 uh, platforms across the, uh, the EU. And uh, next year we'll have um, an additional um, 20 uh, maps. So we'll have in total 40 maps. So um, a map, as I was saying, is composed of people representing society, representing policy and representing science. Um, it's about 15 to even more 25 people, um, so it can be also a large group. 
Um, and the maps um, read the discussion paper and the paper is really there to trigger a discussion on a specific topic. Um, after they discussed and having different, through different workshops, for instance, they, they draft a position paper, um, then which is also discussed at the EU level uh, map, which is the equivalence of the regional or national map, but at EU level. So with people, for instance, from the European Commission. And then we synthesize everything into a Sherpa position paper on the specific um, topic. So um, last year, we focused the work on the, the long-term vision for rural areas. We, um, we decided to implement the DALFI process, which is usually used in forecasting processes. So that's why you can see the six different steps of the test research, interviews, interview analysis, map survey, survey analysis, and validation of results through a consensus meeting. Um, so you can see on the left side, the, it started with the discussion paper, as I, was, as I was saying before, which was drafted at um, work package leaders level. Um, and then from May until November, the maps uh, worked on the, on the paper and drafted a discussion paper <coughs> and um, a position paper as well. Um, so in total, we had 17 uh, map discussion papers and 18 map position papers. Um, the main um, outcomes of the, of the discussions were presented at the annual conference last year, and um, everything was synthesized and drafted in the Sherpa position paper, which was published earlier this year in February, and which is also available on, um, in our website. Um, so that was in terms of, of process, and now in terms of what, on the content, on the substance more, um, the headline messages of the Sherpa discussion paper um, are presented on this slide. So the main message was that um, rural areas of Europe are attractive in their own rights, and as a consequence of the high quality of life available, many areas are appealing uh, places to live, work, and, and visit. Um, the long-term vision of the rural areas are, um, should be characterized also uh, through opportunity, innovation, modernity, liveliness, resilience, and equality, and also enhance their sustainable and multifunctional environments. Um, the maps also identify the need for mechanisms to ensure that rural matters are addressed in a coordinated and coherent manner in all areas of policies. Um, also, the maps and discuss the key enablers to achieve that vision, which is the main one would be to enhance multi-level and territorial governance um, that empowers local actors and communities, uh, which is um, can be facilitated through flexible funding schemes and that are relevant to the characteristics of the different um, areas. So that's in a nutshell. Maybe going a bit more um, into depth. They, um, the maps also, so through the Delphi process, they identified um, opportunities and challenges. Um, so you can see um, there that the yeah, digitalization and smart mobility is seen as um, opportunity, um, tackling climate change and provision of environmental services as well. And um, as I mentioned before, uh, governance and public participation was really, uh, were really seen as uh, as, key, as instrumental also in achieving the uh, um, a long term vision for rural areas. Um, when it comes to challenges, um, of course, yeah, demographic, uh, demographic challenges uh, were, were identified. So the population and aging population, um, climate change also, depending on the territories, but um, higher temperatures and lower uh, annual precipitation. Um, can also be um, challenging um, infrastructure and basic services. So the lack um, or sometimes the poor quality of, of them are really seen as, as challenging um, for, for rural areas. Um, then they, they really identified, so each map when identifying uh, opportunities and, and challenges also on trends, they were asked to, to prepare and to envision the future. Uh, with 20 years of horizon. Um, so they identified vision and enablers also to achieve that uh, desired uh, future for European rural areas. Um, so um, in 2040, rural areas are attractive places for people to live and settle. That was their main uh, 
the common vision, let's say, from the, from the maps. Um, it also uh, relates to the utilization of rural technologies and solutions, uh, diversified rural economy with a strong local industry, trade, cultural sector, etc., and a stable democratic, democratic structure, environmental conservation, and biodiversity. Um, the top three enable uh, categories that were identified by the multi actor platforms were to empower local actors and communities, enhance multi level and territorial governance and enhance also smart realities and digitalization. Um, so this is just a snapshot of the, of the concluding remarks. Um, this is what I, I've, I've been um, saying before, but just three um, headlines, a characteristic of the long-term vision or to enhance smart reality and digitalization, empower local actors and, and communities, and really enhance multi-level and territorial governance. So involving more uh, local actors and, and governments across the one designing and implementing also the, uh, the, the policies. Um, as I said, the, the Sherpa platforms are composed of three different actors. So from science, society and policy. And we wanted also to, um, to um, illustrate that in our concluding remarks. So um, we have um, taken from the, the map position papers, we have um, drafted this, um, this key also kind of recommendation regarding the long-term vision. So science, um, what is the role of science? It provides an evidence base of opportunities and threats relevant to rural areas. And it has also a role in connecting innovation with rural needs. Um, it informs, of course, societal debates about pathways to visions of rural areas through the provision of knowledge, information, and building of capacities. Um, when it comes to policy, um, policy provides a leadership for the creation um, of visions for rural areas uh, tailored to be relevant at different levels of, of governance. This is done through uh, both politics and policy. Uh, it sets the principles and instruments that guide and enable the visions to be achieved. And um, the role of society is more to articulate the ambitions of communities, their concerns and their difficulties to, to overcome. Um, it provides also a practice based and very concrete um, uh, knowledge and awareness of the values of rural areas and the challenges they, um, they face. So this is more um, the, uh, this is what the, um, the concluding remarks on the, in the Sherpa uh, position paper. Um, we also had a workshop with the, all the main representatives of the different maps, and we um, we we um, discussed a bit the um, lessons learned also in terms mostly in terms of process, um, which I thought could be also interesting for you to know. Um, but um, as you as you can imagine, all the maps worked mostly remotely. Um, but um, they still had a, a good, um, a good, le good level in, of engagement. Um, but these are the main lessons learned. So to create enough time for my members to to get involved and to engage stakeholders. Also, um, they uh, they drafted an, um, a survey which was also circulated uh, outside the outside the map, and we were also we were also quite pleased with the. The response rates, um, people were really keen in, uh, in engaging, which was uh, very uh, much appreciated. Um, of course, if possible, try to organize face-to-face -face meetings. Flexibility in the process enables maps to adjust and the needs. So overall, a quite positive experience. We are now, um, we have now started a second cycle um, of the map uh, maps work. Um, so they will work on on three uh, different topics. One will be um, the second phase of the, of the vision, the, and they will do foresight. This, um, I have a specific slide here, so just for you to know on the, still on the vision, they will work um, based on the uh, scenarios developed by the Joint Research Center, um, which has uh, developed these four scenarios that you see on the slide. Uh, really specifically on the long-term vision. So um, the maps have been um, introduced to the scenarios and they will um, carry out a foresight exercise through workshops. So they will still, um, some of them, six will still work on the vision and the other um, 14 maps um, are divided into two groups and one working on the change um, 
uh, on one climate change and another one on the on rural um, economy, on the diversification of the rural economy. And they all um, choose to be on which uh, on these different uh, topics and, um, and will also formulate recommendations um, in the Sherpa position papers. Um, so that is it. I think I can, I can stop um, my presentation here. I'm happy to, to reply to any question that you, that you may have.